Did you know that nearly 40% of adults would struggle to cover an unexpected $400 expense? That's almost half of us, just one car repair or medical bill away from a financial emergency. In this journey, we're not just ticking off a list, we're exploring the deeper implications of these financial challenges. From the never-ending cycle of living paycheck to paycheck to the real consequences of not having an emergency fund, we're uncovering the hidden truths. And that's not all. We're also packed with practical, life-changing strategies to turn these challenges on their head. Have you ever thought about how small, everyday decisions can dramatically reshape your financial future? Stay with us, and by the end of this series, you'll not only recognize these signs, but also master the art of overcoming them. Your path to financial wisdom and independence starts right here. Let's get started. Sign 1. Living Paycheck to Paycheck Hi everyone. Today we're delving into a topic that's often whispered about but rarely tackled head-on. The telltale signs of financial struggle. We're starting with a big one. Living paycheck to paycheck. Imagine being on a financial roller coaster that only goes in circles. That's what this feels like. Did you know that a staggering number of people can't afford a $500 emergency without borrowing money? This statistic isn't just a number. It represents a significant part of our society, constantly balancing on the edge of financial uncertainty. Living this way means every dollar is accounted for, with little to nothing left over. Warren Buffett once said, Do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. But for many, saving seems like a luxury they can't afford. This paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck cycle isn't just inconvenient, it's a trap that makes planning for the future or investing in oneself almost impossible. Every unexpected bill or emergency becomes a potential crisis. The journey out of this cycle starts with awareness and gradually building a habit of saving, no matter how small. It's about making intentional choices, just as Buffett advises, to prioritize saving over spending. Sign 2. No Emergency Fund Moving to our second sign of financial distress, not having an emergency fund. This is a critical safety net that too many of us lack. Imagine your car breaking down or a sudden medical expense. Without a backup fund, these become major crises. A survey by Bankrate highlighted that a considerable percentage of Americans would struggle to handle a sudden $1,000 expense. This isn't a small segment of the population, it's a wide swath of people living without a financial cushion. Having no emergency fund means living in constant risk of financial upheaval. As Dave Ramsey, a personal finance guru, often says, an emergency fund turns a crisis into an inconvenience. Without it, every little bump in the road can feel like a mountain. Starting an emergency fund isn't as hard as it might seem. It's about small, steady steps. Saving just a little from each paycheck can build a buffer over time, turning those mountains back into manageable hills. Sign 3. High Debt to Income Ratio Let's dive into the third sign, a high debt to income ratio. This is when your debts are like a mountain towering over your income, a small hill in comparison. It's a tough spot where most of your earnings go towards paying off debts, leaving little for anything else. A startling fact is that many Americans have more debt than income. Credit card debts, student loans, car payments, they all add up quicker than we realize. As the famous investor Robert Kiyosaki says, good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. The trick is knowing the difference and managing it wisely. High debt to income ratios don't just strain your wallet, they strain your peace of mind. Every paycheck feels like it's already spent before you even earn it. It's a cycle that's hard to break but not impossible. The key is to start small. Tackle the debts with the highest interest rates first and work your way down. It's about making smart choices and sometimes tough sacrifices. But remember, every step towards reducing your debt is a step towards financial freedom. Sign 4. Poor Credit Score This is more than just a number. It's a reflection of your financial health. A low credit score can shut doors, harder to get loans, higher interest rates, and limited financial opportunities. Did you know that a poor credit score can affect more than just your borrowing power? 
It can impact job opportunities, housing options, and even insurance rates. As John D. Rockefeller, one of the wealthiest Americans in history, pointed out, the most important thing for a young man is to establish credit, a reputation and character. A poor credit score often results from missed payments, high debt levels, or credit mismanagement. It's like a signal flare, indicating that things might not be right with your finances. Improving your credit score starts with good financial habits, pay your bills on time, keep your debt levels low, and be cautious with new credit. It's about building trust with your finances, step by step. Sign 5. Lack of health insurance. Sign 5 brings us to a crucial yet often overlooked aspect. This is a major concern, as healthcare costs can be one of the biggest financial burdens. Without insurance, a single health emergency can wipe out savings or plunge you into debt. Consider this. A significant number of bankruptcies in the United States are due to medical expenses. This isn't just about getting sick, it's about being financially vulnerable. As Susie Orman, a personal finance expert says, health is wealth, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Your financial health is directly tied to your physical health. Not having health insurance means living in the shadow of potential financial disaster. It's not just the fear of getting sick, it's the fear of the financial repercussions that come with it. Taking steps towards obtaining health insurance, whether through an employer, a private plan, or a government program, is crucial. It's an investment in your financial security as much as your health. Even if it seems expensive, the cost of not having it can be much higher. Sign 6. No investments or retirement savings. Moving on to sign 6. This is a telltale sign of financial distress, as it speaks to a lack of long-term financial planning. Retirement may seem far away, but it's closer than you think. A shocking reality is that a significant portion of the population has no retirement savings. This means relying solely on Social Security, which may not be enough to maintain your lifestyle in retirement. Warren Buffett once advised, Do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. This principle is key to building retirement savings. Having no investments or retirement funds puts you at risk of financial instability in your later years. It's like navigating a ship without a compass. You might keep afloat now, but where are you heading? Starting to save for retirement even in small amounts can make a huge difference. Look into options like employer 401ks, IRAs, or even a simple savings account. The goal is to start building a nest egg that can grow over time. As we continue through our list, remember that each of these signs is a call to action. Identifying these issues is the first step towards financial health. Sign 7. Limited Education or Job Training In this sign, we address the impact of limited education or job training on financial health. It's a significant barrier to higher-paying jobs and financial stability. In today's fast-paced, skill-driven economy, being undereducated or lacking specific job skills can severely limit your earning potential. A surprising fact is that the earnings gap between high school and college graduates is wider than ever. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, college graduates typically earn significantly more over their lifetime compared to those with only a high school diploma. This isn't just about degrees, it's about the opportunities that come with them. As Nelson Mandela famously said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. In our case, it's also a tool to change your financial future. Whether it's going back to school, getting vocational training or learning new skills online, investing in your education is investing in your financial future. It's important to explore educational opportunities, no matter your age or stage in life. From night classes to online courses, there are more options than ever to increase your knowledge and skills. Remember, it's not just about making more money, it's about opening doors to new possibilities. Sign 8. Over-reliance on credit cards. It's a common sign of financial distress, often indicating living beyond one's means. Credit cards can be useful tools, but when they become a crutch for everyday expenses, they can lead to a dangerous cycle of debt. Did you know that according to a report, the overrate credit card debt per household is alarmingly high? This isn't just about splurring on luxuries. For many, it's about covering basic needs, 
which points to a larger issue in financial management. As financial expert Dave Ramsey often says, debt is dumb, cash is king. The ease of swiping a credit card can be seductive, but the aftermath can be a heavy burden of high interest and perpetual debt. The key to breaking free from credit card dependency is first to understand your spending, track where your money goes each month, and identify areas to cut back. Start using cash or debit for daily expenses to avoid spending money you don't have. It's a shift towards conscious spending, empowering you to take control of your financial destiny. Sign 9. Frequent Overdraft Fees Overdraft fees are what banks charge when your account dips below zero. Constantly facing these fees indicates not just a lack of funds, but also a potential lack of financial planning and control. Here's a concerning statistic. A significant portion of bank revenue comes from overdraft fees, suggesting that many people are regularly spending more than they have. This cycle of overdrafting can be financially draining and stressful. It's like being in a hole and continuing to dig deeper. As the saying goes, watch the pennies and the dollars will take care of themselves. Monitoring your spending and keeping a buffer in your bank account can help avoid these fees. It's about being proactive with your finances, ensuring you're not caught off guard by regular expenses. Adopting a budgeting system can be a game changer here. Knowing exactly what comes in and goes out each month can help you stay above water and gradually build a financial cushion, steering clear of those pesky overdraft fees. Sign 10. No Disposable Income This isn't just about not being able to afford luxuries, it's about having no financial breathing room. When all your income goes towards survival, there's no opportunity to save, invest, or even enjoy life's little pleasures. A startling reality for many is living in a constant state of just getting by, with no room for unexpected expenses, let alone savings or leisure activities. This kind of financial tightness can be suffocating, limiting your ability to experience life fully and prepare for the future. Warren Buffett wisely advises, do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. This shift in mindset, prioritizing saving even small amounts before spending on non-essentials, can gradually lead to financial breathing space. Creating a budget and sticking to it can help carve out some disposable income. It might mean cutting back on certain expenses or finding ways to increase your income. It's about making conscious decisions with your money, prioritizing your financial well-being and allowing yourself some room to breathe and grow financially. Sign 11. Old or unreliable transportation. Having a car that's constantly breaking down or not having a vehicle at all can be a significant barrier, impacting your ability to work, access opportunities, and even manage daily life efficiently. It's an often overlooked fact that reliable transportation is a key element in maintaining and advancing one's career. According to a study, a significant number of job opportunities are missed due to transportation issues. It's not just about getting to work, it's about the opportunities that come with mobility. The challenge here is the cycle of affordability. Reliable transportation can be expensive, but without it, advancing financially becomes even harder. As the businessman Harvey McKay said, a dream is just a dream. A goal is a dream with a plan and a deadline. The goal then becomes to create a plan, possibly saving incrementally for a more reliable vehicle, or exploring alternative transportation options that can offer more reliability. In this chapter, it's important to recognize the role transportation plays in financial health and to start planning towards more reliable options. It might involve budgeting for repairs, saving for a better vehicle, or utilizing public transportation more effectively. Sign 12. Lack of savings for children's future. This is an indicator of financial strain that not only affects you, but also the future prospects of your children. The cost of education is rising steadily, and without savings, the burden of student loans becomes a looming reality for many families. A report shows that a large portion of parents with young children have no educational savings set aside. This lack of foresight can place a heavy financial burden on children as they reach college age. The saying by Benjamin Franklin, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest is holds true here. 
Saving for your children's education is an investment in their future. It's not just about college, it's about giving them a strong start in life. Starting a college fund, even with small contributions, can make a significant difference. Various savings plans like 529 plans offer tax advantages and can be a smart way to start building a fund for your child's education. It's about taking small, consistent steps towards securing your children's future. Sign 13. Dependence on payday loans. We explore the reliance on payday loans. Payday loans are short-term, high-interest loans that are typically used to bridge a gap until the next paycheck. While they may offer temporary relief, they often lead to a dangerous cycle of debt due to their exorbitant interest rates. Statistics reveal a worrying trend. A substantial number of people regularly use payday loans to cover basic expenses. This isn't just a one-time emergency solution. It becomes a recurring dependency for many. The issue with payday loans is aptly summed up by financial author Robert Kiyosaki. The poor and middle class work for money, the rich have money work for them. In the case of payday loans, your money is constantly working against you due to the high interest. Breaking free from the cycle of payday loans involves creating a buffer of savings and carefully managing expenses. It's about finding alternatives for emergency funding, such as credit unions, personal loans with lower interest rates, or even assistance programs. The goal is to avoid this debt trap and work towards a more stable financial footing. Sign 14. Chronic stress about money. Constant worry over finances can affect not just your bank balance, but also your mental and physical health. Financial stress can manifest in sleepless nights, anxiety, and a feeling of hopelessness about the future. A survey found that a significant percentage of people cite money as a major source of stress in their lives. This isn't just about not having enough money. It's about the feeling of being trapped in a financial rut with no clear way out. As Suze Orman, a personal finance expert says, when you are anxious and afraid, take a deep breath and hold your heart. It will calm you down. While this is good advice for managing stress, it's also crucial to address the root cause, your financial situation. Tackling financial stress involves taking control of your finances through budgeting, reducing debts, and creating a plan for the future. It's also important to seek support, whether through financial advisors, support groups, or educational resources. Remember, taking control of your finances is the first step towards reducing money-related stress. Sign 15. No financial plan or budgeting skills. Not having a clear financial plan or the ability to budget effectively is like sailing a ship without a map or compass. You might stay afloat, but you're not really going anywhere specific. A significant number of people don't have a budget or a financial plan. This lack of planning can lead to impulsive spending, insufficient savings, and a general sense of being financially adrift. As billionaire investor Warren Buffett wisely advises, an idiot with a plan can beat a genius without a plan. The power of a well-structured financial plan cannot be overstated. Developing budgeting skills and a financial plan is crucial. It involves understanding your income and expenses, setting realistic goals, and tracking your progress. There are numerous tools and apps available to help with this process. Remember, the goal is not just to restrict spending, but to create a roadmap for your financial journey. Sign 16 limited social life. When you're constantly worried about money, it can be challenging to enjoy social activities, which often involve some level of spending. It's alarming how financial stress can lead to social isolation. A study shows that financial difficulties are one of the main reasons people cut back on socializing. This isn't just about missing out on fun, it can affect mental health and overall well-being. As personal finance author Dave Ramsey says, we buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't like. It's important to strike a balance between maintaining a social life and being financially responsible. Finding cost-effective ways to socialize is key. This could mean organizing potlucks instead of dining out, enjoying free community events, or simply spending time outdoors with friends. It's about finding joy in simple pleasures that don't strain your wallet. Sign 17, Deferred Home Maintenance. This sign discusses the issue of deferred home maintenance, a common sign of financial struggle. 
When you're financially stretched, maintaining and repairing your home can take a back seat. However, neglecting these tasks can lead to bigger, more costly problems down the line. It's an eye-opening fact that a large percentage of homeowners delay essential home repairs due to lack of funds. This isn't just about aesthetics, it's about preserving the value and safety of your home. As the saying goes, a stitch in time saves nine. Proactive maintenance can prevent minor issues from becoming major expenses. Creating a home maintenance fund can be a lifesaver. Allocating even a small portion of your budget to home upkeep can help prevent larger expenses in the future. It's about prioritizing and planning, ensuring that your home, your sanctuary, remains safe and comfortable without putting undue strain on your finances. Sign 18, High Utility Bills. High bills often result from inefficient home utilities or simply from the need to cut costs, leading to choices like keeping the house cooler in winter or hotter in summer. Research indicates that a notable number of households spend a substantial portion of their income on utility bills. This isn't just a matter of comfort. It's a financial issue that can significantly impact monthly budgets. As financial advisor Rick Edelman suggests, personal finance is not about being cheap, it's about being efficient. Being smart about your utility usage is not just eco-friendly, it's also wallet-friendly. Improving home energy efficiency can lead to substantial savings. Simple actions like sealing drafts, using energy-efficient appliances, and being mindful of your daily energy consumption can reduce your bills. It's about making small, sustainable changes that can add up to significant financial relief over time. Sign 19. Avoiding extracurricular activities for kids. When budgets are tight, extracurricular activities for kids are often one of the first expenses to be cut. This can have a significant impact on children's development and social skills. It's a concerning fact that a substantial number of families are unable to afford extracurricular activities for their children. These activities, whether sports, music, arts, or clubs, play a crucial role in children's overall growth and well-being. As the saying goes, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. The absence of these activities can deprive children of valuable learning and socializing experiences. Finding affordable or free extracurricular options can be key. Community centers, public libraries, and local schools often offer low-cost or no-cost programs. It's about being resourceful and seeking opportunities that can provide these valuable experiences for your children without overstretching your finances. Sign 20 no access to financial education. Understanding how to manage money, save, invest, and make informed financial decisions is essential for financial well-being, yet many people lack this knowledge. Statistics show that a significant portion of the population has little to no financial literacy. This lack of education can lead to poor financial decisions and a lifetime of monetary struggles. As the investor Warren Buffett advises, the more you learn, the more you earn. Financial education is a powerful tool that can open doors to better money management and financial independence. Seeking out financial education resources is crucial. This can be through online courses, books, community workshops, or even podcasts and blogs. The goal is to equip yourself with the knowledge and skills to make smart financial choices, breaking the cycle of financial distress. As we conclude these chapters, remember that each sign of financial distress we've discussed is an opportunity for improvement. The journey towards financial stability involves recognizing these signs and taking proactive steps to address them. And that's a wrap on our journey through 20 signs you are poor. We've uncovered some hard truths, but more importantly, we've armed you with strategies to turn things around. So, what did you find most surprising? Which strategy are you excited to try first? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get a conversation going. Your insights could be the golden nugget someone else needs. Don't forget to subscribe. This is just the beginning. For more tips, tricks, and life-changing financial advice, check out our other videos. Trust me, you don't want to miss what we have in store. Thanks for watching, and remember, your journey to financial freedom starts with taking that first step. So, what are you waiting for? Let's take that step together. See you in the next video.